Well, to make our corn flour, we're going to start with three drinks cans and one that's a smaller diameter that's going to go in the middle. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all of our cans roughly in half. So you just stick your scissors in, just normal scissors will do it, and cut them all in half, like that. And then we're going to discard this one with the rounded end, the bottom, and we're going to keep the top of the can got the little fastener in that's the bit we're going to keep so we've cut our cans in half we've got the top parts of the cans preserved um, now we're going to let's show you what we're going to do we're going to divide each one into five parts so it doesn't really matter too much if they're not that equal at this point so you're going to cut right down and roughly you're going to end up with five petals Cut down as far as you can, and then when you've got it, you're going to open, but just by pressing gently, that should then flick out. Okay, so you're going to repeat this step with all of these. All right, so I've got four of these now. Don't worry if your little tab's sticking up. If you just turn this round to the side, so it's not pressing down anymore, then you can normally just press them through and they'll stay flat. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to cut the corn flour petals. So you're going to keep this full width here, but you're going to trim. This is a, just a tiny bit tricky because you've got to cut down at the bottom of the petal here. Like that. And you're going to do that on the other side, you, so it's going to kind of be like a triangle. Just... Okay, so you're going to do that for all five of the petals. So now we've done that, we're going to cut the ends of the petal. And we're going to make basically a little three pointed end. Now your scissors should just be going through this aluminium beautifully and that's the end that you want to put on all of your petals. All right so here's one of our cans done and we're now going to do the same thing for all of these. So I've cut all my tins and what you've got is three that are the same size and one that's a little bit smaller with that smaller can. And all you're going to do now is you're going to pile them up on top of each other, make the petals overlap a little bit. You might want to bend some of the leaves up a little bit to get that full. Unless this is the smaller can that's going to go in the middle, so I'm going to bend that a little bit further up. And that is my corn flour. I absolutely love this. It's probably my favourite flour I've done to date. I love corn flowers anyway. I love that 3 d -ness. Mmm, gorgeous. Now I'm going to go and paint this blue. Okay, so I've painted these and then all that remains to do is to stack them up. And then that slightly smaller one goes in the middle. There you go. If you turn it to the side, you can see all the cans fitting together. Now, um, what you could do is separate them out, use a hammer and nails, and you need to nail or make two holes in each of these and then tie them back together with a piece of wire. I'm going to drill. I'm going to line them all up and drill them in one. So, I'm going to get a piece of wood. And then after I've done so, I'll have to touch them up with paint. Now, here we go. So now I'm going to get a length of wire and I'm going to thread it through all four layers. a little bit tricky if they've moved a bit so 
we go, thread them through, pull them tight, and then just twist the wires round at the back. So I'm gonna use a bit of black paint and touch up around where I did drilling. And then I'll be finished. There you go, I'm very happy with that. A lovely cornflower. Now I did make it um, using the same method but using food tins. Now if you're going to use these, this is three, I think probably baked bean tins or something, or soup tins, so you can see it's a lot bigger. And obviously you're going to need a pair of tin snips like this if you're going to use t food cans. But this is a thicker, sturdy one. I'm going to put them both on my garden fence after I've sprayed them with some exterior varnish. Um, but just wanted to show you the difference in size. And you can also make them with the lid of baked bean cans. And I've got a little couple of mini ones here. And these are very sturdy indeed and you definitely need tin snips and you'll need to drill through those as well. But this version is really easy and you won't need power tools. Scissors and hammer and nails would work perfectly well. I'm going to spray this and then put it on my fence outside. <laughs>